Hey, welcome back. This is going to be a how-to video. You want to watch the other how-to on how to create an awesome, a awesome pool pump cover. Click over here somewhere. Uh, this is what that looks like. Still looks great. My issue though, my issue though, is not the pool pump, but it is my damn pool. This right here is green. It is nasty. It's just, I can't swim in this. I can't swim in this. This is horrible. So, I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys. Ah, spider web. I want to show you guys how to handle that. And the first thing I want to show you guys what type of filter I have. The pool pump I have is a DE filter. Now, your, your normal filter, what I will do is I'm going to move this whole object down. I'm going to use this hose over here, this little blue hose. I'm going to drain the DE pump. From there, I'm going to clean the grids within the DE pump. Then I'm going to clean a few of the filters that are inside of these little attachments. I'll make sure the pressure is good. Now I'll use the lube over here to make sure the O-rings are all set. And then I will turn the pump on to make sure that the water in here is pumping adequately. And then from there, I will add some of the porpoise pool spa equipment swimming pool filter powder which is called de powder i'll add that over into that little hole over there about two cups and then i'll pour in two gallons no actually five gallons five gallons of chlorine as well as some stop yellow and the extra tube of lube uh just in case uh i don't have any more over there so that's what i'm gonna do there's my dog that's what i'm gonna do how to clean your pool or how to work on your DE filter, your DE pump. Follow along. Let's go. DE pump, the hose going from the actual port itself all the way out here. I'm going to drain it and then I'll turn on the pump to actually get some water flowing out of there. So hopefully you'll get a good view of what the hell is going to happen. I'm going to pull this knob up here. And all the water as soon as I turn the pump on, all the water is going to drain from this hose here. Sorry about the motorcycles in the background. It's going to drain from this hose here out through here out to the backyard. But this pump over here, this little knob here, you got to make sure you're careful with that. I broke that off a couple times. I'm talking about that one right there. Broke that off a couple times. So now what I'll do, I'll turn my pool pump on to activate the activator. That makes sense. And uh, we'll rock and roll. I'll do a little bit at a time. So right now, every time I turn it on, I want to double check the hose. So right now I have a small kink in the hose here. So I'm going to adjust that. If I don't adjust it, water is going to come spewing out and it's actually going to break the hose. And nobody wants a broken hose. So, it's outside now. Yeah, nobody wants a broken hose. Come back over here. Launch it again. see it but all the water is coming out of there and it's nasty it's like nasty black water so I'm gonna turn this on I'll keep it on for a few more minutes uh, probably about two minutes to be exact I want to make sure water flows all the way through it see if we get a view over here I don't know. there's all the water 
all that nasty backwash. It's just dirty water. So as soon as that starts to clear up, which it looks like it is in a second here, I'll go ahead and stop it. Hey, right now, that looks good. So I'll come over here, and I will stop it. So, <clears throat> a few quick things. Right now, it looks like my primer here, this little pour, I think it's called a primer, is full of water, which is good. And the problem I was having is it wasn't, it wasn't priming before, it wasn't working. So hopefully clearing out some of this uh, will uh, help. So let's, let's clean out the grids now. i loosen this. Slide it off, move it out of the way. My next part, how do you get the top of this thing off? Well, let me show you. So you wanted to give it a few pops, you'll start to feel the pressure. And it's just gonna pop. Ba 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 This is horrible. And you can agree. So Look at how nasty all this is. Oh, that's why my pool hasn't been getting clean. Because all this stuff in here is nasty. There you have it, folks. The nasty filter. The way you would want to do this is on the bottom here, you have a little nut and bolt. It's right there. And you want to take that off, and you'll take this off, and... Blah 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 blah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I want to try to see if I can do it a different way. And uh, see if I can just clean it from there. Okay. I'm gonna take my time. So all these white things here are called grids, or spines, or whatever you want to call them. Um, the benefit of having a DE filter is that you don't need to change them out that often. Once in a while they'll rip, and you change them out, I think they cost you $14 a piece, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little less on Amazon. Uh, but that's all there is to it. Just clean it off like that. You want to make sure that on these parts here, that is clear, there's no murkiness, there's no dark stuff at the bottom. Otherwise, that means you have a bunch of, of dirt still inside the grid there. So, so far so good. All right, so all this stuff in here is nasty DE. So I need to take the hose and just run it in there, clean it up a bit. As I'm cleaning it up, all the water is gonna drain. So all the water's in the drain. So I'll turn the hose off now. The next thing I would do is I'll go ahead and rub the rim here and try to get all this other debris off. Um, it could be anything from like your old O-ring to just dirt and grime building up. Uh, it's, just, it's just nasty. Way easier to manage, way easier to put the lid on. Uh, I probably could use a new O-ring, and the reason why I know that is because this is sliding around pretty easily. So, I'm not going to switch that out yet. Um, yeah. Next step is to reinsert this. So here's your little port here, your little male, then you have a female end over here that you have to attach to. You can see that. So it just fits right in. Nothing too complicated. You want to make sure you press down with even force, so whatever I do on the right, I'm going to press down on the left, and just snaps in. Okay, from there, I'll go ahead and use the lube, lube up the sides here, uh, pop the top on, load it up, prime it, close the, the pump valve, and uh, that should be it. So now that I got the top back on, <coughs> it's in position, you want to make sure that you have your pressure gauge facing whatever way you want to face. It's a little bit harder to get to if it's over here, but... Me, I like it here. Access. Next thing, I want to close off this valve at the bottom. 
as you close it off, you're gonna hear pressure, you're gonna hear some water. It's completely normal. And then I'll pull this hose up a little bit at a time from this side so that all the water runs back. Uh, my next step, I'm gonna actually turn the pool pump on. I'm gonna fire it up. I wanna make sure the water's going through. I wanna make sure that my pool pump is actually working. And then from there, I can add the DE. So, turn it on. It'll take a second for it to prime. So, primer will set. So, right now, it's trying to prime. It's getting there. I also want to make sure that I have no leaks around my DE filter itself. Sounds like it's doing a good job. Hardly any bubbles in there, which is a good thing. Full of water. I would say that it is ready to go. It's ready to go. So my next step, and here's the, uh, here's the swamp thing emerging out of the depths. The next step would be to take some of the DE powder, drop it in, add the chlorine, add the yellow stuff, anti-yellow stuff, and give it a good little scrub. So that's what I shall do. So I'm gonna put four of these in there. My pool's not that big. You can check out on the back of the box what it says, but I'm gonna put four of these full to the top in there. And from there, I will put all this chlorine in the pool. Should be it. Not too hard, not a complicated task. Just takes a, a little bit of wit, little chemicals, a little patience, a little cleaning. If you have questions, comment below. I'll show you the, uh, the results in a few. Obviously not today or tomorrow, but maybe in the next three days or so. All right, appreciate you guys watching. If you need help, reach out to me. Comment below. Peace.